Bali is changing, which means it's easier to explore the island than ever before. In this video, we will be covering all the best things to do if you're in Ubud, Uluwatu, Lavinia, Pramitaran, Ahmed, Uta, Senor, and we will be giving you great tips for your trip to Bali. We have a lot to cover, so let's go. Ubud is an area not to be missed. Kira, Tirta, and Paul is where you can experience the culture of Balinese Hindu by bathing in holy spring water. Built in the 10th century, Tara and Paul Temple is an Hindu Balinese water temple. It is considered one of the five most holy temples in all of Bali. Sikeng Rice Terrace provides a relaxing atmosphere and is excellent for taking a moment to leisurely walk around the area. There are numerous cafes and swings to take that memorable picture. Goa Gaja Temple, locally called Elephant Cave, is uniquely designed with stone carvings. Here, you will find both Buddhist and Hindu carvings. The Goa Gaja's history goes back more than 1,000 years. Pala Sange Forest is inhabited by approximately 600 gray, long-tailed Makaki's monkeys. The temple is very sacred to the community. Each visitor is always accompanied by local guides in order to maintain the security and comfort of your visit. Ubud Monkey Forest is well-maintained. You can walk across streams, stop at on-site paint gallery, and end your day with a refreshing ice cream, all while visiting these long-tailed makaki monkeys. Coffee Plantation Kolmolera is one of the many coffee plantations with great areas and swings to take that perfect picture. One of the great things is that it doesn't get nearly as crowded as other plantations. Ubud Art Market, located in the center of Ubud, has a numerous small shops and few varieties in terms of merchandise. Still, you can find deals on souvenirs, silk, scarves, shirts, statues, and so much more. Ubud Street Market is located just around the corner from the art market with great open space to walk and shop as you try their local cuisine. Yuluwatu is a village on the southwestern tip of the Bukit Peninsula of Bali. At the GWK Park, you will find it is the ultimate destination for those seeking a unique cultural experience. Exceptional customer service and dance performances are usually performed daily and are included in the ticket price. Padang Padang Beach lies between the Bengen and the Uluwatu, forming a part of the group of world-class surf spots that line the coast of Bali's southern peninsula. Dreamland Beach is a popular surfing beach. It was formerly secluded and had casual refreshments, stands, and inns. It has since became the beach of extensive tourist development. Yuluwatu Temple is south of Bali and you can capture one of the best sunset views from this location. The Keacock Fire Dance is performed here during the evening and you can stop and feed the friendly monkeys while you're there. Lavina Beach is a relaxing area on the north coast of Bali with white sand beaches mixed with gray and black volcanic sand. From the Lavina Beach location, you can capture one of the best sunrise you will ever see. The dolphin tour from Lavina Beach. The experience is amazing. Either swimming with the dolphins or the sheer excitement of chasing the dolphins to see them as they show their amazing splendor. Going in and out of the ocean. Banyumala Waterfall is a popular spot for photographers to take that perfect picture. With a split waterfall plunging over the rocks into a jungle pool. Banjar Hot Spring is a beautiful hot spring surrounded by natural beautiful landscape. Tucked away in a green lush hillside in North Bali, about 5 kilometers from Lavina. 
Rama Vihara, a Rama temple, is the largest Buddhist monastery in Bali. Beautiful gardens and meditation areas, ideally located on a hill, which gives you a great view of the city. The new temple is a large temple by the lake with clean bathrooms and restaurants on site. It is a little pricey and however sometimes can get a bit crowded. However, it is totally worth the trip. Pomerturam is located in a northwest part of Bali. If you want to truly immerse yourself in the Belizean culture, this town is definitely for you. The boat departs from Pramuturan village and takes about 20 minutes to see one of the three diving locations that you will experience for the day. One of my best diving experience seeing ocean wildlife on Dutch. You will also get an opportunity to visit the dares and other wildlife on the Mangangan Island. Right around the corner, you will find the Banjura Den Hot Spring. This is quite unique because it is surrounded by the mangrove forest, so you can watch the beautiful natural scenery, which is often visited by neighboring monkeys in the area. But to Kersey Mountain, is definitely worth the climb. It's great for taking pictures and along the way you will pass a lot of locals and the entrance fee is free. Ahmed is a stunning corner in Bali and is quite underpopulated. It has beautiful black and white sands just waiting for you to enjoy. Ahmed Beach is great for swimming and snorkeling which has wonderful underwater visibility to make it easier to see fishes, turtles, and natural corals. From Ahmed Beach, it is quite easy to go to Palace Royal on the water, which is a beautiful palace surrounded by a well-kept lake and garden. Yuju Water Palace was built in 1909. It was built on 12 acres and the palace has three large pools and in the center, you will find the Gili Ballet Building. Tirta Ganga is quite unique as there is a walkway in the pond to be surrounded by fishes as you can them. The garden is beautifully maintained and there are numerous statues throughout to see. The trek takes around two to three hours to reach to the summit. Mount Badger is an active volcano located at the center of two concentric calderas northwest of Mount Ayuli on the island. After climbing Mount Butcher, what best way to relax and reward yourself than to stop in the Butcher Natural Hot Spring. Kota Beach, located right next to the airport, is centrally located and will be the first beach you come in contact with. Kuta Beach is famous and is centrally located with thousands of restaurants, shops, surfing, swimming, you name it. When you land in Bali, definitely stop to go and catch the famous sunset and drink a botanic. You can go to the Kuta Market, which is one of the most visited markets in Kuta and is near numerous popular places such as Beach Walk, Hard Rock Cafe, and Kuta Beach. Visiting Tanalat is most accessible from Kuta. This is a famous temple and is beautiful and surrounded by the water near the ocean. It is a magnificent temple, especially at sunset. Sanyar Beach is an upscale section of Bali beaches, which has less peddlers, numerous restaurants, malls, and art galleries. Easily accessible from Senor Beach is the Masiti Beach, which is a lovely, quiet beach with very few vendors. You can spend the day relaxing on the black sand as you surf, swim, or just have a tan. Senor Beach stretches eight kilometers along the southeastern coastline of Bali. It's a long stretch of beach and offers shallow waters, colorful fishing boats, which is backed by a paved, long cycling path. Bali's Travel Tips. Before visiting Bali, get your visa processed so you will have it on arrival. Get Indonesian rupiah before leaving the airport. Buy Wi-Fi at the airport. Thank you for spending the time to watch this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe.